The Wizard of Oz says we need to go to the south to meet Glinda, the Good Witch. Before we can go there, we need to solve a Hidden Objects Challenge for a piece of the map. Obviously, we can't get there without a full map. So, let's find everything here. Banana peel, gross, ornament, boomerang, uh, mouse. Let's say mouse. Let's pretend that's a field mouse, right? We can pretend it's the field mouse from the Wizard of Oz book, because they don't, they don't mention the field mouse anywhere in this game. Uh, eye patch, um, marble, and finally, I need some sort of cricket. Hint says it's there. Okay. Hard to find cricket. So that map piece will help us get through this door. Goes in the corner over here. Yeah, it's a corner piece. The forest goes along the bottom if that helps you solve the puzzle. I can't see anything anymore. Uh, these are towers? Uh, hey, I got a piece in place. Somehow, all these pieces are blocking each other. Okay, that's definitely the castle tower. Let's see, that goes there. Good. Great. Hmm, let's see. Uh, that, no, that doesn't make sense. There! Beautiful, okay. Getting more of these pieces. Hmm. Good. I, I guess trying to reconnect the dotted line is the way to go with this particular one. That's the top. Okay. Finally. Yeesh. Okay, so now we can go to the south area. This is the biggest wall I've ever seen. Lion, can you jump us over? Even with my courage, this wall is too tall for me. So we have a puzzle getting over this wall. Let's see. Tin Man is going to have to cut these things down because they will make a ladder. You know, when I, when I first played this game, I thought, oh man, this is clearly the wall leading to uh, the, the one area in the book, the, the land of, uh, you know, porcelain dolls that are alive and they walk and talk, but uh, nope, they're not here. Instead, this, lives, this leads to the deadly forest. Which, which is also in the book. There's like a giant spider. And then our, our good friend, the lion, he becomes king of the forest. All the animals want him to be their king after he saves them from this terrible spider monster. And this is a hidden objects challenge, naturally. Wind chime... There's the can, there's the book, there's the spine, wrench, and the glass eye. Yeah. The vines have come alive and have trapped us all. Tin Man, are you free to cut us down? I can't. These vines have knocked me into this spider web. I'm stuck and my axe won't cut them. There must be some other way to get him out. You just need to think. So, I'm gonna construct something. Gonna grab all the items I need for the construction. Oh, it's a torch. It's a torch. That's what we're constructing here. Is this, uh, this is where the torch is supposed to go. Alright, let's go forward. Uh, more torch pieces. Good, we have all the pieces for the torch and a hidden objects challenge. Die, a harmonica, a stein, a butterfly, some sort of mask, a pin cushion. Let's see, a ring, a hand razor. There's the flint. 
horse head ring, hand razor, and paper fan over there. All right, let's go back. We have almost everything. Torch, fuel. But we need some flint, so it's a hidden objects challenge again. Oh, and it is a field mouse. All right, we found the field mouse. Aren't we happy? We have an apple. We have the marble. Hedgehog there. Scary spider over there. Pencil. Longbow in birdhouse. And there's the flint stick. The cricket, it's got to be green, right? Oh, but half of the screen is green. I can't... Yeah, I can't find it that easily. Hey, there's a compass. And then there's a ribbon. Cricket's over there. Got it. Okay. So now we have the torch. We're gonna use it on the Tin Man. It's a good thing I made of tin. I couldn't even feel that fire. Thank you for freeing me. <laughs> we will use the Tin Man to save everybody else. Thank you. I thought Toto and I would never get out of there. <laughs> Dorothy's joined the group! Those vines were trying to squeeze me into pieces. <laughs> Dear me, that was becoming a tight squeeze. Thank you. <laughs> so the group I is complete. the last leg of the journey. Well, my friend has enough legs for all of you. Gross! That is the biggest spider I've ever seen. Tin Man, can you chop it? I don't think I can. That spider's too big even for my axe. Well, the lion will help. With my new courage, I'm not afraid of it. I'll take care of that spider right now. Hooray! Oh no. It looks like that shadow man has affected the Quadlings land as well. Yes, this is Quadling country. That's what we call this area. Alright, so we need to uh, go here. But in order to open the gate, we need that device. We need that device. Um, and we're going to need two large diamonds as well. So, let's see if we can find these items scattered throughout the town. Uh, one is here, and we need something to get rid of those runes. Oh, the quadlings! They were, like, turned to stone, those poor fellows. Scarecrow gets rid of that crow. And, let's see, this here, this there. We have that item, and we also have a hidden objects challenge. French loaf. Lots of food here. Maybe this is a bakery. A cheese grater. Is that not olive oil? I guess that's not olive oil. No, I already got the olive oil. Okay, great. Uh, fire tongs. Uh, stamp over here. Open book over there. Clothes hanger over there. Sundial over there. Bird's nest over there. Apple over there. Faucet over there, and pry bar over here. That was an easy one. Great. Now let's do this. Uh, maybe not as easy. A <laughs> fly. Uh, we want a rune plate, whatever that is. A milk canister. Bow tie. Iron steak. Some sort of flower, it looks like. Cleaver. Well, there's the rune plate. That's a rune plate. There's an old boot. Lead pipe. Plunger. And I'll use a hint for the wooden ladle, which is right there. So that gave me two items, and uh, I can zoom in on this. So you see this F? It matches number 9. F is 9. So here, I'm going to put this in place, and then put F on 9. 
Makes sense. So next I need to use the pry bar. Get a couple uh a couple more. Get that plate. Get this plate. And we have to go back for another hidden objects challenge. So backwards, hidden objects over here in order to get that rag. That rag, that rag, that's the rag we need. Pepper shaker. Salt shaker, carrot, again, food. <laughs> um, a chain. Fork is over there, monocle's over there. I think that's a wine gourd, meaning this is a card and that's a perfume bottle. Area complete. Now over here, I'm gonna clean this off and use the pry bar to smash that, breaking that poor person's house. <laughs> All right, this is 12 and then this is six. 12. Six. Three. Now we need to find those two gems. So the large gems are, are here. It's a, it's a hidden objects challenge for both of them. So that was the one. And then the other is over here. Fellows. A lot of the items, I, th I think all the items we found just reappeared, like the, that cheese grater, we, we found it last time, but it's back, it's back for more. <laughs> a conch shell, a toad, there's the ribbon, uh, gavel, candle, I'm not sure what a hand sander is, I'll use a hint for it. Oh, it's the thing which is hiding off the side of the screen, so I wouldn't have found it anyway. There's the stein hiding on its side. There's the sleeping snake. And finally, I need a butterfly. This area is complete. Next, we're going to look here. Cinnamon. Glass eye. Teacup. A fern. I guess that's a fern. Eggplants are generally purple, I think. I'm going to skip the eggplant. <laughs> Glass egg. Oh, that's not a glass egg. Oh, wow. All right. This is a glass egg? Those are definitely things that could be eggs, but are not. Oh, there's the eggplant. Yeah, that's totally purple. Okay. Uh, desk bell. And then a sugar bowl over here. And I still need to find a glass egg. It's this. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that was glass. I thought that was metallic. I thought those were those metallic eggs. Well, let's put these two things in place and meet Glinda. It's coming to this, Fixer. I didn't think I would actually have to go this far, but you simply cannot stop meddling with my plans. Witness my true power. I have become unstoppable. <laughs> you must help. Vile has trapped me in this field and is using my energy and the energy of Oz. The machines are feeding him. Hurry! Quick, we must save Glinda. Stop Vile or the land of Oz is doomed. I think we have four different machines we're going to disable here. It would be cool if, like, each machine was themed on one of our four characters. But no, it's just logic puzzles. Okay, so uh, red piece is going to go here. That way I can move a, a blue piece, I mean a green piece there, another green piece there, and I put that red piece over there. We're trying to get the four red pieces on the right hand side with the four green pieces on the left. So next we're going to have to do the same sort of thing. So green's going to go here, green's going to go down there, red is going to pass the green so green can go on the top. And let's see, I'm going to move these reds around so I can put that red at the very bottom and then sort of move everything back into place. Basically, I'm copying what I'm doing on the right and then doing it on the left. So now we have the green piece at the very bottom. Hooray! So let's see, I'm gonna move these pieces here, getting a green there. I'm gonna move this red down, 
move these pieces around so I get a red there. And now I've got two reds on the bottom, two greens on the bottom. I can move that green there, those reds there, so I could get a green there. Put this red down, this green to the side, so that red's there. Put the green aside so I get the red in place and the green in place. Now I press the button. Oh! So you destroyed one of my machines. That would not stop me. I thought that was a button. What is it? An electric node. Okay, I guess we get one for solving every single puzzle. So here with this one, we, we need to move things around in clockwise or counterclockwise fashion. So let's see, I'm going to move this down here like this. that in the place yeah I think that's it so now I'm gonna have to move these up this down that way I can move this down and then this these left these up these up this up and then this down into place gave me another electric node a minor setback I still have more than enough energy Next is this one. <laughs> Slider puzzle. Okay, so it's going to have to be this. Move everything sort of around because I'm trying to get this this one down. I'm trying to get this ball down. And now that it's down here, I can move the red one. Uh, 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 not red one, the green one. <laughs> I'm moving this green one above it. Hey, the green one goes in the starting area. So then this is going to go up. And then this up, this right, this like this, and this probably down and left into the corner. That way I can move this left and back up. This will go in that spot. I'm going to move it all the way right, and I'm going to move these around like this. Hmm, so let's see. How am I going to get that green out of the way? Uh, this up, green there, maybe? No, no, that's not going to work. Wait, yeah. Red here, green there, done. Okay. Please be the last one, please. No, there's four, right? That's got to be four. You might fiction fixer. I am a mortal now. There's nothing that you can do. Last one. Oh, fortunately, it's not a slider puzzle. It's just we put the three electrodes in place, and then we use the good witch's kiss. No, oh, wait, this is a puzzle. Okay, so we do uh, left to middle, middle to right, then right to left, middle to right. Left to middle, middle to right, right to left. Excellent! We did it! What? Impossible! You can't destroy me! I am pure, pure Thank you, Dorothy and friends. And you, stranger. Thank you for ridding the land of Oz of that Victor Vile and his terrible machines. You must be Glinda. The Wizard of Oz said that you had magic that could get me home to Kansas. He did, did he? Those silver shoes you possess have wonderful powers. They should have all the magic you need to get home. The slippers had the power the whole time. <laughs> what do you think of that, Toto? <coughs> that is very much the case. Bring them to me and I'll show you. Here's the silver slippers. All you have to do is knock the heels together three times and tell the shoes where you wish to go. Silver shoes. Take me home to Kansas. So you'll be leaving us then? Even with my new brain, I still can't make sense of it. Now that I have a heart, I might cry, and that will cause me to rust. Imagine that. Even though I'm filled with courage, this still makes me sad. Well, 
Let's go home. Thank you so much, Fiction Fixer, for aiding my friends, saving everyone in the Land of Oz, and for helping me to get home. Goodbye, and good luck. Welcome back, Fixer. Excellent job in there. It seems as though Vile actually turned himself into energy. When you shut down his device, you shut down Vile. Permanently. I doubt we'll be hearing from the likes of the Illiterati anytime soon. Now, you have some reports to fill out, so I suggest you do it. <laughs> I don't want to fill out reports. What a terrible ending. <laughs> That's the end of Fiction Fixers. Curse of Oz. It is the sequel to Fiction Fixers Adventures in Wonderland. I did a walkthrough for that game, so you can watch me play uh, basically the same as this game, except it's Alice in Wonderland. And we have a helper, uh, Fiction uh, Phoebe. She, she helps us out here. And uh, sadly, this is the final game of the series. We only have the two. We only have the two, Adventures in Wonderland and uh, the Oz one. So I, I kind of wish it was a longer series and we had a bunch more books, but I am still glad we got these games. Thank you very much for watching me play Fiction Fixers The Curse of Oz!